Hello, this is Jamie with Creations Misfit, and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple and very easy stocking. Um, these work up pretty quickly, and they're very easy, beginner-friendly. Um, it's just kind of uh, a regular stocking. There's nothing super special about it, but um, you can change the pattern a little bit as you go you know once you start making these if you'd like to change the stitch or whatever you want you could do that but these are really quick and easy makes and they look really nice so I will show you how to make those um, today I'm going to be using two different colors of yarn and what the white is going or cream is going to be the sock part like the bottom of the sock the heel and the brim and then the actual stocking is going to be the blue so um, when you're choosing your colors when I'm doing the white that means that we're doing the the toe the heel and the um, uh, the brim <laughs> sorry um, and you don't have to do two colors uh, you could do it all in one color if you want or you can change colors throughout whatever you'd like to do if you'd like to stripe it I just made one um, like a Freddy Krueger style one the other day and I did striping throughout and then the brown for the hat uh, that one's a little bit different than what we're going to be doing today but whatever you want is fine so you can do you could do um, any size yarn you'd like it's just going to change the size of the stocking so I'm going to be using size 5 yarn today um, I also make them in size 4 but those are usually the two size yarns that I use. So I'm going to be using paint box yarns. This is uh, Simply Chunky and Stylecraft Special Chunky yarns today. And then you will need a six millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a yarn needle to sew in your ends, and if you'd like to have a um, stitch, uh, sorry I can't find my words today, <laughs> um, a stitch marker just for one little part um, you can use that if you don't need it you don't need it so let's go ahead and get started I'm going to be starting with the white because this works from the toe up in just one fell swoop so whatever color you'd like for the toe go ahead and get that started And we are going to be starting with a magic circle. I know some people hate the magic circle, and I fully understand I used to hate it, and then I found a really easy way of making it, and now I love it, and I use it all the time. So if you need extra help with the magic circle, I do have a tutorial for it, and I will put that in the description box, but I'll show you real quickly how I do mine. Um, if you have another way of doing yours in the round, that's totally fine too. But this is how I do my magic circle. I just kind of have the yarn over my hand like this and I wrap it around three fingers and I cross it over in the back and then just kind of hold it down with my pinky and then I put my needle underneath or my hook underneath this first one and over the second one and pull that through and just kind of twist it around and then you have your magic circle Okay, so if you need to rewatch that, just rewind it. Otherwise, if you need a lot more help with it, um, I do have a tutorial. So just look in the description box and you can find that there. Okay, so you're going to want to chain one. And then we're going to put 10 single crochets inside the uh, magic circle. So you're going to do your single crochets in here. One, two, three, four, five. If you're not familiar with this, I'm just going inside the circle. And if yours is a little too loose, you can always pull this uh, yarn here to tighten it up a little bit. Okay, we're going to do 10 total. total. <laughs> Sorry, so that's 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And when you get to the end, you pull this loose piece to tighten up your circle. Pull it all the way. And then you're going to slip stitch into the very first stitch that we made. Okay, so if you have to count, you can 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And you're going to do a slip stitch there to close up the circle. And then chain 1. Okay, and you can always go back and pull this if it's not tight enough. 
but this is what we have so far. So this is our little toe for the stocking. Now this round, we're going to do two single crochets in every stitch around so that we end up with a total of 20 single crochets. So you go in, make sure you don't go into the stitch where you did your um, slip stitch. You're going to go into the very first one after that. So we're going to put single crochet in there and then we're going to go into the same exact stitch and do another single crochet. So we do two in each. Okay, the next stitch is the first one. We go into, back into that same stitch, and there's two. Okay, and you're just gonna do that all the way around. So do two in each. That's the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and don't worry, I'm not going to do every single stitch with you throughout the whole thing. I'll just tell you how to do it and come back to you once I've done mine. Okay, so that's the last one there. That should be 20. And then you're going to find the first and slip stitch into your first stitch. You should have 20 single crochets. Okay, and then chain one. Now, Oh, uh, let's see. For round three, we're going to do two single crochets in the very first stitch. Okay, not the one that we have our slip stitch in, but the next one here. Two single crochets. And then in the next nine stitches, we're going to do a single crochet. Just one in each of the next nine stitches. So that's one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, and then in the next stitch, you're going to do two single crochets again. One, two, and then in the last nine stitches, you're going to do one single crochet in each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pull some yarn, eight, and nine. And then you're going to uh, slip stitch to the very first stitch. Okay. And you should have 22 single crochets in that round. This is going to start kind of pulling it out a little bit, you can see, so that it's not circular, so that the toe will come up like this. All right, so we're going to uh, chain one and go on to round four, right? Yeah, sorry, I was looking at my notes. Okay, so for round four, we're going to do something very similar. You're just going to do two single crochets in the first stitch. And then you're going to do a single crochet in each of the next ten stitches. Okay, so do your single crochets in the next ten stitches. And then you're going to do two single crochets in the next. And then one in the next ten stitches. I'll do this round with you, and then after this I'll just explain it and uh, go from there and let you do it on your own. So we're going to do 10 single crochets. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then we're going to do two single crochets in this next stitch one, two, in the same stitch, and then 10 regular single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then slip stitch to the first, and chain one. Okay, so you can start to see how this is taking shape. Now, this is gonna be our pattern, similar pattern for the next few rows. 
So I will explain the first row to you, let you do it, and then uh, come back and explain the next row. Okay, so we are on row five here. So for row five, you're going to do two single crochets in that first stitch. One, two, and then you're going to do 11 regular single crochets, and then two single crochets in the stitch after that, and then finish off with 11 single crochets again, and then slip stitch and chain one. So go ahead and do that, and then we will come back together. Okay, so at the end of row five, you should have 26 single crochets. And I slip stitched and did a chain one, and we're ready to move on to round six. So for round six, we're going to do two single crochets in that first stitch, and then we're gonna do 12 regular single crochets. Then we're gonna do two in the next stitch, and then 12 to finish off. So that should be round six. So go ahead and finish your round six, and we will be back. Okay, at the end of round six, you should have 28 single crochets. This is what it's shaping up to look like. And we will move on to round seven. So round seven, same thing. You do two single crochets in that very first stitch. And then you're going to do 13 regular single crochets around. And then two single crochets. And then 13 single crochets to finish off. And then slip stitch and chain one. Okay, so this is round seven and I will meet you after round seven. Okay, here we are at the end of round seven, and you should have 30 single crochets around. This is what it should be looking like. And we have one more row of the white before we start into the stocking. So you should have slip stitched and chained one, and moving on to round eight, we are going to do two single crochets in the first stitch, and then we're going to do 14 regular single crochets, and then two single crochets, and then 14 to finish off. Now when you finish off, don't tie off your white yarn yet. Um, just get to your last stitch and we will come back together and uh, move on with the second color. Okay, I'm finishing up here and I'm on my last stitch. Um, and I'm going to pull through my new yarn. So I like to do it like this because then it doesn't leave a mismatch of color. Bef like when you're going into your last stitch, your last single crochet, you go in and pull up a loop. And instead of yarning over and pulling through, we're going to yarn over with our new color. So grab your new color, yarn over with that to pull through, and then slip stitch into the first single crochet with your new color and that way it just makes a seamless uh, color change moving on now this part is up to you if you want to cut your um, first color of yarn and then you'll reattach later when we do the heel that's totally fine not but you can try that actually you know what I'm going to sorry about that I'm gonna go ahead and cut mine because I think that I changed the pattern so I'm gonna cut that for now um, and we will start with our second color. Okay, so from here, I chained one. I'm actually going to chain another one. We want to chain two. Actually, I don't know if I chained at all. No, I didn't. Sorry, I got a little confused. All right, you're going to chain two, and we are going to do half double crochets all the way around. So you should have 32 stitches um, all the way around at this point, and I'm going to pull these behind just to weave them in as I go my two pieces um, you don't have to do that you can go back in later and stitch them up if you'd like but I like to just pull them through so from here we're going to do a row of half double crochet all the way around and you should have 32 stitches so if you don't know half double crochet I will put that in the description box um, I do have a video for it, but basically I think that you should all probably know half double crochet if you're doing a stocking at this point. Um, no worries if you don't, it's very simple. So you just yarn over, you go through the stitch, yarn over and pull the loop. You should have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, so go ahead and do a round of um, uh, half double crochets and you should have 32 stitches so I will meet you back at the end of this round okay I'm 
getting to the end here, I did my last half double crochet. And I'm going to slip stitch into the very first stitch, not the chain two, but the very first stitch. So slip stitch there, oops. Pull through and chain two. Okay, so now the next, um, and see this is where you can change the pattern if you want, like if you wanted a shorter stocking, you could just do single crochets instead of half double. If you wanted a longer, like thinner stocking, you could do um, double crochets here. I like the half double, just kind of in between. So for the next 11 rows, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to do half double crochets all the way around, 32 stitches in each row of your main color. Um, and if you want to do stripes, you could stripe every other, or you could do like, um, like here in this one, I did thick stripes because that's how Freddy Krueger's sweater is. So I did four of each. This one was done in double crochet, but, um, so whatever you want, if you want single color, you know, single color, if you want to stripe it, anything from here, but it will be a total of 12 rows. So we did one already, so you're going to do 11 more. So if you want to just go ahead and do all 11 and then come back, that's fine. I will do a couple, you know, a few rows and come back and show you what it's looking like each time um, after I do like two or three rows. But otherwise, if you want to just go ahead on your own, do 11 more rows, and then we will start the heel um, from there. So I will meet back up with you in a little bit. Okay, this is what we have so far. I've just done four rows. So this is kind of how it's coming along. Yours should look something similar once you've done about four rows. So let's keep going. We have to do 12 all together. So I have eight more to go. I will meet you back in just a little bit to show you how it's coming. Okay, I have eight rows done so far, so here we are. Four more rows to go, and I will meet you after those four rows so that we can get started on the heel. Okay, I think I was just starting to count, and I thought I had 12 rows, but I only have 11. So let's do um, our last row if you haven't done your 12 rows yet. I'm going to do my last one, and then um, you can tie off your middle color because we're going to reinsert the heel color which was my white in a different spot but just make sure that you know exactly where you tied off okay so I have one more round to do and then we will come and do the heel okay I finally finished my 12 rows or rounds and I haven't uh, gone ahead and cut mine yet I just wanted to show you um, okay so we can go ahead and cut our yarn here and tie off. I just want to make sure that you know where that stitch is right there. So go ahead and put a, um, a <laughs> stitch holder there. Okay. Unless you can clearly see it, I just want to make sure. And then I just kind of do a chain here to tie off. We're going to add our next color of yarn. So whatever color you want your heel to be, um, that's the color you want. I'm going to do mine white or cream. Now in my original pattern, I just added my yarn right here and then we stitched around, but see how you can kind of see how this comes down, like where we have our, it's not super noticeable, but you can kind of see where the um, slip stitches take place well because we take our yarn only halfway around then we start over here so then the slip stitches were shown on this side and on this side once we started with the heel and I want them to all be on one side so this will be the back side none of that really matters I just want to explain to you why we're not just doing this straight from here so what we need to do is count 16 stitches um, around from from our very first stitch now this was the slip stitch so you want to count the next 16 stitches and we're going to skip those so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so we're going to skip those and we're going to go into the next stitch and that's where you're going to put your yarn Okay, so skip 16, and in the 17th stitch, we're going to 
add our yarn. I just kind of add mine like that and do a chain to secure it. Okay, and we're going to do uh, single crochets. So we're going to go into this same stitch here and we're going to do one single crochet there. Just kind of pull that tight. And then we're going to do 16 single crochets all together. So that was our first one, two, three, four. I'm just pulling my yarn behind to secure it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen should be in that very last one. Okay, and you can remove your stitch marker from there. All right, so from here we are going to, we're going to be going back and forth over the heel part. So from here you're going to chain one and then turn. I'll have to weave that in later. Okay, for the next part, let me look at my pattern real quick. Okay, we're going to single crochet two together. Now, if you're unsure how to do that, you're just it's very simple. You're just going to be putting two stitches together because we want to start making this a little bit shorter. So we're going to single crochet the first two stitches together, which means you just go into your first one like a normal single crochet, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then you're going to go into your next stitch before pulling through, go to the next stitch, pull, and you should have three loops on your hook and then yarn over and pull through all three so you just put two single crochets together okay and in the next stitch the third stitch you're going to do one single crochet and then in the next ten stitches we're going to do half double crochets okay so half double in the next ten one two three four five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You should have three stitches left. You're going to do a single crochet in the next one, just a regular single crochet, and then in the last two we're going to single crochet two together again. So you go in, yarn over and pull up a loop, Go into the next one, yarn over and pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So that's two, uh, single crochet two together. Okay, and then chain one and turn. All right, next, let's see. Okay, we're going to do two single or a single crochet two together again for the first two stitches. So go into that very first one that you're kind of in there, yarn over and pull up a loop go into the next one, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. So that's single crochet two together. Then we're going to do a regular single crochet in the next. And then in the next eight, we're going to do half double crochets. So eight half double crochets. That's one, two, grab some more yarn here. Sorry, I do like a weird thing with my thumb where I kind of, I don't know, I just use my thumb a lot, so if it looks confusing, <laughs> that's why. Uh, but I'm just doing regular stitches. All right, now what did I do? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You should have three stitches left. You're going to do one single crochet and then a single crochet two together. Go in, pull up a loop, go in the next, pull up a loop, and pull through all three. Chain one and turn, and we're going to repeat, but with six uh, half double crochets this time. So in the first two, you're going to single crochet two together. The next one, you're going to do a single crochet. 
The next six are going to be half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You should have three stitches left. And this starts to kind of curve up, so um, it might be hard to see your, your last stitch, but you should know that there are three left. So you do a single crochet in the next, and then single crochet the last two together. Okay, chain one and turn. Um, and then following the same pattern, we're going to do single crochet two together, single crochet in the next, four half double crochets in between, one, two, three, and four, and then a single crochet by itself, and then single crochet two together, the last two. Single crochet two together, chain one, and turn. Okay, so this is what it should be looking like. That's gonna be our heel. Okay, so for this round, we are doing the same thing. Single crochet the first two together. I hope you can see this. I can't see what's on my camera here. And then the next is gonna be a regular single crochet. And then two half double crochets. Half double, half double. And then a regular single crochet. And then single crochet the last two together. Chain one and turn. We're almost done with the heel part. Okay, for this one, we... Oops. Okay, we're going to single crochet the first two together. Whoops. Single crochet two together. Then we're going to do a single crochet in the next. A single crochet in the one after that. And then single crochet the last two together. Okay, chain one and turn. Now we should have four left. Four stitches left. We're going to single crochet the first two together. We're just decreasing here. And then we're going to single crochet the next two together. But don't chain one and turn here. Okay, so you should have two stitches left at the top. And from here, let me look. Sorry, I just want to check my pattern to make sure I don't whoops, mess anything up here. Okay, so from here we are going to um, okay, we're going to single crochet along the side of the heel. So we're going to do one. Um, wait, let me see if I. Yeah, okay. We're just going to go down this side of the heel, and we do. I think it's seven or eight. Okay, we're going to do seven single crochets down. Sorry about that. I just wanted to check. So it's kind of hard to find your stitches, but you can kind of see the row. So just go into the end of the rows, and we're going to do seven single crochets. So start with this one here. It's going to be one, two, three. Just kind of find where you can get into the sides. Four five, six, and seven. Should be one in each row. And then we're going to slip stitch where the two colors meet. Okay, so slip stitch right there. And then chain one and turn. And we're gonna go back up and around this way. So we're going to single crochet back in those seven stitches that we just did. Okay, not the slip stitch, but the seven actual stitches. So it's one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, and then we're going to single crochet those two at the top. One, two, and then we're going to single crochet seven down this side. So the same as we did on the other side, just kind of find where you can get in. This is not the first stitch on the side because that's where we just went in. So you want to go into the next one. So there should be seven even stitches down the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then you're going to slip stitch again where the two meet, the two colors meet. Okay, slip stitch there, and then we're back to the beginning. Now, if you want, um, actually, I'm going to pull my new color. You're going to pull your new color through now because we're done with the heel. So if you want to pull up like you would normally slip stitch, um, you can just pull through a regular slip stitch, or here you can pull your new color through. So I'm going to grab my new color. And when I go in for the slip stitch, I'm just going to put my new color on here and pull that through to slip stitch. Okay, and then you can cut your white yarn or whatever color you use for the heel. And here we are. Okay, so now you're going to chain one. You know what, I'm going to um, pause for a second and pull or uh, weave my ends in just so it looks a little bit cleaner but here is what it should be looking like like with the heel and I'm sorry if the heel is a little bit confusing but that's just I mean that's just how it goes if you have to watch it a couple times um, it's really not too difficult it's just both mostly the sides like going down the sides and trying to find your way in but see here how you can see where the, the slip stitches were now we're back here so all the slip stitches will be down this one side so this will be the back side okay so I will be right back after I weave my ends in okie dokie we are back so um, like I said the heel was the hardest part from here on out it's very simple we are going to do a row of half double crochet again to kind of pick up where we left off. So you should ha still have 32 stitches and because um, there were 16 here on the white part and 16 blue. So don't go into that very first one which we slip stitched into but we're going to do a half double crochet into the next stitch. I just want to make sure uh, it looks like that was my uh, slip stitch from before so this should be the next stitch hopefully <laughs> we'll see so we're gonna have double crochet one two three whoops four five six seven eight <clears throat> Excuse me. Nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, that works out good. So there's sixteen, and then there should be sixteen in the white. So make sure again you don't do that first like where the slip stitch was you're gonna go into the next one 17 18 19 20 hopefully you're seeing this 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. Okay, good, that worked out. So then we're going to slip stitch over here 
into our first stitch. Oops. It's kind of hard to grab that one. Okay. All right. So that's where we should be at. And then from here, we're just going to do half double crochets again for this blue part or whatever your stocking color is. And we are going to do a total of 12 rows again. So we just did one, so we need 11 more rows. So you're going to chain, if you wanna do one chain, or chain one or chain two, whatever is your preference. And we're going to do 11 more rows. Um, so I will do a few and come back again to show you how it's looking, but otherwise you're just gonna do 32 half double crochets around for 11 more rows. Okay, I will meet you back in just a few. Okay, here's how it's coming along. It looks like a slipper for a giant at this point. <laughs> um, I have done four rows since the heel, and I have eight more to go. So hopefully yours is looking something like this, and um, you're doing great. We're getting there. It's just repetition now. So go ahead and finish up. I will do a few more rows and meet back up with you. Okay, eight rows done here from the heel. So it's starting to come together. Um, I have four more rows left, and then we can start the cuff. For the cuff, uh, the top cuff, I'm gonna show you two different ways. I'll just explain one way, and then I'll show you the second way, and you can choose whichever one you like better. So, um, all right, I have four more rows to go. I will meet you after that. Okay, finally done with all of those rows, the last 12. So we are going to put in our new color. I have one stitch left because I wanted to add this right away um, to the top of my stitch. So for my last stitch, I'm gonna go in and then I'm going to pull through the final part with my new color. So this will be the top cuff, whatever color you decide to use for that. Like I said, you can do all different colors whatever you want. All right, so that's for my top stitch, and then I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch here with the white and pull it through. Okay, and then you can cut your other color. We're all done with that. And weave it in later or at the top here, whatever you choose to do. All right, now for the top cuff, I'm gonna show you two different ways. If you want a simple um, cuff that you just fold down like this one, see how it's like this? Um, all you're gonna do is eight, I think it's eight rows I did. Yeah, eight rows of double crochet with your new color and it will come out like that and then you can just fold it down for a nice thick cuff. That's like a traditional stocking look, and I do like it for some things. Um, for this Freddy Krueger one, I thought it was perfect. So you would just do eight rounds of double crochet in your top color, and then it would just fold down like that. And then at the top, you can add whatever you want. If you wanna add some embellishing, you could do like a little hook here, you know, to hang it. Or if you want to do a tassel or like a red ball, I'm probably going to attach this uh, red ball to this one. But whatever you choose to do. Oh, I wanted to show you the reason that we didn't just start the heel right away and we counted over those 16 stitches is because look at how we started here. You can see where the slip stitch comes together. And then because on this one I did not... Uh, skip those first 16 stitches. I just went straight from there Then on this side you can see it here And I'd rather have it all on one side so that we can have a front in the back. So for this one you can see it's all On one side. So that's why we skipped those stitches when we did the heel just so you know All right, so I'm gonna actually show you a different way So if, if you want to do the the way that I just showed you you can do that and then you're done if you want to do um, I'm gonna do a different way which is like a little bit more textured and um, I like this for different stockings too and, and it gives it a really nice look but it's really simple to do it looks it makes it look like it's a lot harder uh, than it is so what we're going to do is um, chain up two and we're going to do um, uh, back loop only double crochets around so if you're unfamiliar with that there's 
um, there's two loops on every stitch. You can see here's the front loop, here's the back loop. We're going to go just in the back loop for this first row, okay? And you're going to do a regular double crochet in each of the back loops. So you just go into the back loop only. I'm, I'm pulling these through just to weave them in. And then do your double crochet, okay? Back loop again here. So you can see we're going into just this back one for the first row. And this is the only row we're going to do back loop only. Okay, whoops. <laughs> Go ahead and do your double crochet. Back loops. You do this all the way around for 32 stitches. Okay. If you need more help with the back loop, I do have a tutorial for it, um, and I will leave that in description boxes as well. But as long as you know how to do a double crochet, you should. I mean, instead of going through both, here, instead of going through both um, pieces of the top of the stitch, we're just going in the back here. Okay. So go ahead and do your 32 all the way around, and then I will meet you at the beginning. Okay, I did my 32 around, and then you're going to slip stitch into the top of the first stitch, not the chain two here, but the top of the first stitch. Okay, so slip stitch there, and chain up two. All right, we're, we just have uh, four more rows, and they're really simple. So what we're going to do is, if you're not familiar with a front post double crochet, I know I'm probably adding in some things that you may not have heard before if you're a beginner, but no worries. Um, it's very simple if you know a double crochet. So here are the posts for the uh, for your stitches, okay? So this is the first one because we're in this one right here. So what you're going to do is a double crochet, but you're going to go around the post. So uh, yarn over like you normally would, and then... wait. Okay, yeah. This first one, you're going to go around it. So you go behind. Hopefully you can see that up close. Let's see. You're going to go behind the stitch or behind the post and then pull your yarn like you normally would for a double crochet. You should have three loops on the hook. Pull over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so it's just a double crochet, but you're going around the post instead of in the stitch. So we're going to do that one more time over the next post, or under, okay, this is a front post, and then yarn over and pull through, and yarn over and pull through just like you would for a regular uh, double crochet. Okay, so we're going to do two front post double crochets, and then we're going to do two um, regular double crochets. So in the next stitch, you're just going to go in like you normally would to the top of the stitch, and do a double crochet. And then in the next one, do a double crochet again. And then the next two are going to be front post. So we just skipped these two. You can see these are the two that we went through. They're kind of popped out. We're going to skip these next two because we went into the top of those. And you're going to go around the next post. Okay. Do your double crochet. And then around the next post, yarn over behind you just kind of come behind it like that yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two again if you need help with this I do have a tutorial I will put in the description box as well but it, it's really simple once you get going as long as you know the double crochet okay so then for the next two we're going to do regular double crochets into the stitches one double crochet two double crochets and then the next two are going to be front post only now make sure you don't go into the post of the one that you just did you can tell because these two are standing out these two are kind of back so then you're going to go into that next post or around that next post we'll do two of those that one and the next one and then the next two are going to be in the regular stitch like you would normally do just regular double crochets and they're all double crochets it's just two you go around the post and two you go through like normal okay so the next two 
we're going to skip those two. The next two will be post, front post double crochets. And it's hard to tell in this row, but you'll be able to tell as you do it more how cool it looks with the ribbing. Okay, the next two are regular double crochets. I'm just going to stick with you on this row and get these done so I can show you how to do the next row. Okay, the next two are front post. Oops. And then the next two are in the stitch all double crochets and this makes it kind of thick and bulky up top too so it stands out a little bit more which is really nice all right next to our front post next two are in the stitch and the next three rows are going to be easier because you'll be able to see the posts okay next to our front post You'll be able to see how they stand out, so you, it will be easier to know which ones to go around. Okay, next two are in the stitch. Sorry if I'm going too slow or too fast. It, you know, everybody's at a different pace. So, it, you know, sometimes I get comments on the videos like, you went way too fast, I couldn't keep up, or this you talked way too much this was too slow and it's just you know if it's too slow then you can fast forward it and um, you know you don't have to listen to everything and if it's too fast you can pause and take your time um, I try to accommodate everybody but it, it is really hard so all right so then the last two you're going to do um, post But if you have any questions, please, I'm happy to help anybody the best way that I can. So just leave comments below. I'm happy to help. All right. So now we're going to slip stitch into this first one, first stitch, chain up two. And then the next three rounds are going to be exactly what we just did here. And you will be able to tell, it's kind of hard to tell with the white, but uh, you should be able to tell which ones are front post because they stand out more. And they'll start to stand out more the more you do so the first two you're just going to go around those first two posts again the ones that are standing out we're going to go around this first one and do our double crochet and our second one and do our double crochet and then the next two are behind you can kind of tell so you're just going to go into the regular stitch up top for those two and this will start to stand out a lot more as you do it Okay, then the next two, you're going to go around the two that are popped out again for front posts, double crochets. And for the front posts, you just, um, if these feel a little bit harder to get, get around, just go around where you can, wherever you can get it. As long as you're consistent with the way you do it. Try not to go down here because that's from the stitch before. You want to go up here. Okay, and then the next two are in the stitch. Next two are around the post. Next two are in the stitch. So go ahead and finish up. You're going to do this round and two more rounds, or as much as you want. If you don't want a thick band on top, you know, if you just want... Um, like a little bit or if you want a really thick one it's just it just depends on you I like to do uh, I think it's four rounds all together yeah I think it's four rounds all together so this one and then two more and then we will meet back up and see what it's looking like so two front post double crochets two regular post and then repeat Guys, I'm just finishing up that row that we were just doing, but I just wanted to show you when you get around to the end, you'll see here's your chain two. You want to make sure that you don't go into either of those chains. Go into the very top of that post, that front post one, to do your slip stitch, and then you'll chain two, and then you'll start going around the post again, and you want to get into the top part of the post because now it's kind of 
growing so you don't want to get into the bottom part or the middle you want to uh, yarn over and get through the top of it okay all right so i have two more rows to go so i will meet you back then okay i finally finished so this is um how big my cuff ended up and if like i said if you want to do it thicker just keep repeating that last uh thing that we were doing and here you can see how the ribbing looks i think it looks really nice and actually here's the this would be the way that it goes so you don't see the stripe there of my slip stitches but um here is the final product and I like that this makes it thicker so that it kind of stands out it's not the same as this but like I said if you want to just do the regular double crochets and fold over that works too um, I kind of like how this this looks for this specific stocking so from here you can do whatever you want if you want to do any embellishing like do a tassel I have a, a, a for my other I do like some hounds tooth um, stockings as well and I do these big tassels on them that people seem to like I do have a video for that I'll put in the description box below as well otherwise if you want to do like a pom-pom with a ball you know pom-pom on the end of a string and hang that or just leave it as is or you could even do um uh you could get rid of your yarn here cut off and tie in and just kind of do some chains you know attach your yarn here and do some chains maybe like 10 chains and attach here for a little um uh loop to hang it i might do that with this one too so that's it otherwise you will just tie off your yarn weave in your ends and you're finished um thank you for sticking with me sorry it's a little scatterbrained today with this but i hope that it was helpful for you um if you can, please leave a like. That would be really helpful for my channel. I'm trying to do a lot more videos. And uh, if you'd like to subscribe, I'd be super grateful. I do have a lot of videos up already for different projects and stitches and things like that. And I'm planning on doing a lot more. If there's something specific you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments below. And I will um, try to get those done. So thank you so, so much for um, coming today and watching the video and I hope yours turned out wonderful. I would love to know what colors you did, who you made it for, how it worked out. Any of that in the comments is super helpful for me. So have a great day, a great holiday season, and thank you so much for watching.